the number one reason why you're not getting flat abs. Welcome back to Live Lean TV for Women. I'm your host, Jessica Guthrow, and I'm the number one specialist in teaching women how to live lean. A big part of living lean is looking slim with a tight and flat waist, but it's really important you're not training your abs the wrong way so that you get that pushed out turtle belly look. You know what I'm talking about when you have a six pack, but it's on top of your gut. Nobody wants that, and today I'm gonna to show you what you might be doing wrong with your ab exercises, and any exercise for that matter, and the number one secret that can change your physique. Today I have for you guys a special guest, the lovely Samantha Safdie, come on in. Hi guys. She's gonna demonstrate for you guys four of our favorite, most common ab exercises, and she's gonna show you how to do them wrong and how to do them right. So let's get right into it. I want you to get on all fours for us to demonstrate the cat cow. I'm sure you guys have seen this exercise before, but you may not know what things to look for and how to do it the right way. So go ahead and just show us a basic cat cow without any real like focus on any technique. There you go. Basically, it's just moving your spine up and down. Now, to correct this exercise, I want Sam really focusing on pulling her lower abs, especially her belly button, up towards her spine. Good. So see how much more round she is than the first time she did it? Her head is tucked down, her pelvis is tucked down, and she's really sucking up. Okay, go ahead and relax. Now this time, I want you to exhale hard as you're coming up. Go ahead. Good, did you hear that? She really pushed all the air out, and it made a big difference in making her abs as tight as they could possibly be. Okay, go ahead and relax. And one more time for us. A really hard exhale. Okay, perfect, go ahead and relax. So didn't that feel a lot different the second time? It really did, it makes a small little fix like that makes a big difference. It's all about that mind to muscle connection and really focusing on your lower abs. So now let's go into crunches. Okay. Go ahead and get on your back. And we want your feet about shoulder width apart and just go ahead and relax and we want your hands just lightly behind your head. Okay. Now go ahead and show us a basic typical crunch that we see people do at the gym all the time. Good. So sometimes people pull on their neck. Sam's pretty good at not doing it because she already does these the right way, but show us the wrong way where people pull on their neck. Yes, exactly. So she's still getting somewhat of a contraction in her abs, but it's the main focus is really on the neck and shoulders. Now we're gonna change this around a little bit and focus on a different part here. So see this little gap underneath Samantha's back? That's the natural curve of your spine, and that's a good thing. You want a natural curve there. But when you're training your abs, if you focus on pressing that curve out, so go ahead and push your belly button down. Good, see what just happened there with her pelvis? It sort of tilted forward. The legs are still relaxed, but the pelvis moves forward. Now go ahead and do your crunch while keeping that down. Good. And then relax. Good. So we're slowing down our pace a little bit and doing one thing at a time. First press down, then lift up. Good. Then relax. Good. Again, first press down, then lift up. Good. Perfect. Do you see how much more her lower abs are engaged here? Huge difference, right? Huge difference. Awesome. All right, so now you know the right way to do crunches. Let's go ahead and show leg lifts because these are really good, especially for the lower abs. So now with the knees slightly bent, I want you to show us first pulling your lower abs in and then raising your legs. So first pull in, then raise up. Good, on the way down, slowly out. Again, first pull in, then lift up, good. So that's making her work a lot harder, but I guarantee you she's using more of her lower abs and less of her hip flexors. So these reps are gonna go a long way. So you're gonna need fewer of them and they're gonna be so much more effective. You feeling those lower abs? Perfect. Yeah. This will give you that little V cut at the bottom of your abs. All right, go ahead and relax. Let's show them the fourth one. So go ahead and flip over into the plank position. Good, perfect. So, Samantha already knows, because I've trained her, what is a good plank? It's when your feet are about shoulder width apart, your hands are also shoulder width apart, and then you have this straight line from your heels all the way up to your shoulders. So notice that her butt is not tucked in, her butt is relaxed, but her spine is straight and she has some sort of a natural curve in the lower back. Okay, so this extra exercise we're gonna do to make this plank even harder than it already is, I want you to pull your abs in just like you were doing the cat and cow. Perfect, good, and then go ahead and relax back to your flat plank. Good, so when you relax, you don't wanna concave and sink in. Show them what that looks like when you totally sink down. That's not what we're looking for. I want you to return to your normal straight plank. Okay, again, up, lift, perfect. See how our head and shoulders also tuck in? That's a good thing. And then go ahead and return to plank. Good, so you're only moving like two inches of distance, right? It's not very far, but it is really hard, right? So pulling those abs in and up, and then go ahead and relax it down again. Okay, good, do a few more. 
Same breathing pattern here. She's exhaling as she's lifting and she's inhaling as she returns back to the plank. Good, really driving those hands into the floor, rounding the shoulders and head, and then returning back to that normal curve of the spine. These are some really great exercises that all of you can utilize right away to make sure you get the right results with your ab training and you make sure you get that slim waist instead of the pushed out abs. Thank you so much for joining me for this video today. I hope you learned something new that is gonna help you train your abs in the correct manner and something you can use all the time. Remember that these tips aren't just for your workouts, but any time of day, even when you're standing, doing computer work, or you're sitting, driving in the car, you can always be thinking about pulling the belly button in towards your spine. Remember, when you're doing your reps properly, you're not gonna be able to do as many. So if you hear about people doing 500, 1,000 reps of crunches, they're probably not doing them effectively because just eight to 10 reps of these effective ones and you're really gonna feel it. And of course, as you progress and get stronger, you can add weights, you can add resistance, you can get more complicated with your exercises, but it's important that you master the basics first. Make sure you make that mind to muscle connection and you really learn how to train your abs inward. Thank you guys so much for joining us today on Samantha's flat tight ab <laughs> workout. And we really enjoyed sharing this tip with you. If you learned anything new, make sure to leave us a thumbs up and also comment in the section below if you've ever done any of these exercises the wrong way and if you plan on correcting them so you can get a slimmer, tighter waist in 2015. Thanks again for watching Live Lean TV for Women and we're back with a new episode every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye. Keep living lean. And we love you so much. Thanks for coming back. So you've done everything necessary to lose weight. You're on a low calorie diet. You're exercising your brains out, yet nothing is happening. Here's how to repair metabolic damage.